Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on using sine, cos and tan to find the hypotenuse or adjacent side in a right angle triangle. Now I'm presuming in this video that you have some prior familiarity with trigonometry of right angle triangles. Now do you remember the first step of solving a trigonometric problem is identifying what sides are being used. So we're using this side here, we've labelled it with 3 centimetres and we're involving this side as well because we're trying to find the length of this side, x. So do you remember the side opposite the angle given here, ignoring the 90 degrees, this side is opposite this angle and it's known as the opposite because it's opposite the angle. And this is the longest side of the triangle. The longest side is always opposite the right angle in the right angle triangle and that is known as the hypotenuse. So remember step one is to label your sides. So we're involving the opposite and hypotenuse. Step two is to work out whether we need to use sine, cos or tan. So do you remember Sokotoa, so ka toa and it's just a nice way to remember whether you want to use sine, cos or tan. Now we're involving the opposite and the hypotenuse, O and H. Now we can see this one here involves the O and the H, whereas cos involves A and H, tan involves O and A. So we want this one. So we write out the formula that we need. It's sine of the angle, so sine of 40 degrees, is equal to the opposite, which is 3, over the hypotenuse, which is x. So we've now got our equation, and then we just need to solve for x. So we need to get x on its own on one side of the equation. Now there's two ways of doing this. If you want to do it the slow way, you could think, well, the 3 is being divided by x. Now to get rid of that over x, because we don't like fractions, we can multiply both sides by x. And if we do that, the left-hand side of this equation becomes x times sine 40. And the right-hand side just becomes 3, because if you've got 3 divided by x and you times by x, the times x cancels out the divided by x, so we just get 3. Now, to get x on its own, it's being multiplied by sine 40, so we just divide both sides by sine 40. And then we get 3 over sine 40. And we just need to put that into our calculator. So fraction 3 over sine 40, making sure you close the bracket, and we get 4.67 centimetres to three significant figures. Always check that your answer looks sensible. Can you see that length of 4.67 is a bit longer than 3? And we expect the hypotenuse to be longer than either the opposite or the adjacent. Now, it's a slightly quicker way, and I call this the swapsy trick. If you had, say, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2, then what can you swap in this equation so that it's still true? Well, we can swap the 4 and the 2. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So in general, you can swap the thing you're dividing by in a division and the result of that division. So if we do that here, we can swap the thing we're dividing by, the x, and the result of that division, the sine of 40. This is all one thing, sine of 40. So if we do that, the x goes over here, and the sine 40 gets swapped to where the x was, so we get 3 over sine 40. And, and you can see we immediately get to this point here. So that's just a nice little trick, the swapsy trick as I call it, which allows you to make x the subject quickly if the x is in the denominator of a fraction. But either way, we get 4.67 centimetres.